Very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country. Of course, that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea. Brothers and sisters, I just want to say, in Christ and outside the body of Christ, well, once again, I just want to join, happy for me to join you all, because I have a wonderful book in my hand written by the late Herbert W. Armstrong and the title of that book 14 signs announcing Christ's return 14 signs renouncing Christ's return 14 signs announcing Christ's return and as I continue to read this book I will go over the 14 signs with you all gradually gradually I just pray and I hope that boys and girls everywhere all over the world throughout the Caribbean, starting from my own country, Trinidad and Tobago, and throughout the West Indies, and of course the rest of the world, those in America and Canada and England and Australia and New Zealand and different parts of the world will happen to see this video on the internet and the World Wide Web. I pray and I hope that you all have all the King James Version, original version, and please check all the verses that I quote from this wonderful book written by the world written by the late Herbert W. Armstrong. I'm not so sure if there's any copy. There's more copies of this in the worldwide church, but I know a lot of millions of copies of this was give out, given out free of charge. So not, I, not only the only one that have a possession of this wonderful book in my possession, but of course you, call, you all can check on the worldwide church of God, type up Herbert W. Armstrong, or the world tomorrow. And of course, I'm sure they will have it in print on the internet where you all could get further information, brothers and sisters. And of course, a copy of this book where you all could um, see it on the net, brothers and sisters. Well, having said that, brothers and sisters, I just want to continue reading from this wonderful book, 14 Signs Announcing the Return of Jesus Christ. So without further ado, let the reading begin. Do you know do you know what lies ahead in your future? What about the future of your nation, country and the world? We are not living in ordinary times. We are nearing the end of an age, the end of a civilization. Our time is truly fulfill the words which Franklin Franklin let me spell it out last name D E L A N O oh Franklin D um, D Lenono Roosevelt that's one of the president of United States of America spoke at the beginning of the Great Depression of United States this generation has a renaissance with destiny for more, far more than the 1930s generation, which were then fast approaching the most destructive war in the world history. We today truly have a renaissance with destiny, a world shaking crisis in an ex building and will in the near future explore the appearance of normalcy which will prevail western civilization at this time presently the new the news media is randomly reproach, reporting tragic events explaining their significance in a way that the average man or woman can understand you need to know that the progression of disturbing news stories is not random and inconsequential. Co coincidental. In fact, they foreshadow remarkable key trends and specific events that will change everything you are familiar with in the next few decades years to come how can anyone know the future for sure who really understand the big picture 
there is one source who really knows what will happen. Did you realize that about one fourth of the one fourth of the Bible is prophecies, is prophecies, and that about ninety percent of all prophecy is for the end time, the time just ahead of us. These put these predicted events are sure of course some people are interested in bible prophecies but they should they should be since it will affect their own lives their family lives their jobs and their future there is a real god and the bible speak for him god words of these prophecies and they are sure we wake we need to wake up and believe they will happen the prophecies will happen come to pass by the time we read in this booklet your eyes will be open to understand significance the significance of the day news and what where it is all leading oh yes brothers and sisters where it is leading Listen to what the Apostle Peter wrote about the prophecies. So we have seen and proved that, that what the prophets have came, said came true. You will do well to pay close attention to things they have written for light shining into dark corners. Their words help us to understand many things that others should be dark and difficult. For no prophecies recorded, no prophecy recorded scriptures were even though up by the prof prophet himself. It was the Holy Spirit within those godly men who give them true message from God. Second Peter is one. 1921 the living bible why did god reserve these prophecies for us because the great god is woken out his marvelous purpose here below upon the earth nationally 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 and internationally we need to study god inspire prophecies the words of god the prophecies if we wish to understand his purpose, understand the purpose of God. Can the can the almost in imaginable imaginable happen? Can the almost imaginable happen? Do you know what the most important news story of our generation will be? What is the biggest event that will shake the entire earth within the lifetime of most of us? The second coming of Christ will be the most important event of this generation. Christ is coming back. Christ is coming back to the earth. That is the biggest story that will hit the whole world. Jesus Christ is coming back to earth. The biggest, biggest story. Brothers and sisters and friends and also body of Christ. Well, brothers and sisters, I see that my time is wrapping up. Time for me. So I will end it there. As I said, brothers and sisters, I will continue to be reading from this wonderful, wonderful booklet. The 14 signs of Christ's return. The 14 signs announcing Christ's return back to the suit. Well, it was happy for me to join you all, brothers and sisters. So, bye bye, my friends. See you all in the next. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye, my friends. Peace in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.